Hey everyone, I want to show you my adjustable dry dropper system. You know, a dry dropper is a great technique to have in your tool bag and under certain circumstances or conditions it's absolutely deadly. But one of the limitations with a dry dropper is that your bottom nymph, this here's your dry fly, your bottom nymph is at a fixed position. So in this case, it's about 24 inches. So whether or not you have it at 24 inches or 20 inches or 12, the only way it works is if the trout are in that particular area of the water column or it's at the right depth. So what happens if you have your nymph 24 inches below your dropper and you know we're in a run that's two feet deep and we come out of it and all of a sudden it's three feet deep and you've got to have your nymph deeper in the column. or say we get into shallower water, it goes from two feet to a foot, you know, what do you do then? You've got, you know, you're, you're gonna be dragging bottom. Or let's say the fish are just underneath the surface. Maybe they're only six inches underneath the surface, right? So you can see where I'm getting at. It's, you're limited to the depth that this fixed amount of line is. So how do we alleviate this problem? And it's actually really, really simple. So. You can see that I, I like my dry fly on a tag. So when we rig this up, we all, if we're double nymphing out there, we all know how to do a double or triple surgeon's knot. So that's what we have here. This is a triple surgeon's knot and my dry is hanging down and here's the nymph. So all we have to do is learn how to do a perfection loop. And I'll show you at the end the way I tie a perfection loop. There's a lot of videos on the, out there on how to tie it, but I'll show you a little hack that I do. And the key is to make a very small perfection loop because remember, we're dealing with small tippet, right? 5X, 6X, or 7X. So um, let me just show you how we make it adjustable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip this tag flush with the triple surgeon's knot. I got all kinds of stuff on me right now because I'm gonna show you here at the end what I do. So we've just taken our dry fly off and now we're left with our triple surgeon's knot. And I've already pre-tied a tag using a small perfection loop. And I like to tie these about six inches or so. And I tie actually about, if I know I'm gonna do a lot of dry dropper work in the course of a day, uh, I'll tie maybe you know four to six of them and have them at my ready because you know as we change flies, this is gonna shorten up and you're gonna to wanna to put another tag on. So what you do is you take this perfection loop and you put it above this knot, the triple surgeon's knot, and you just simply loop it in. It's as simple as that. You can see that right there, and you're just gonna pull it tight. Now, here's what's key. When you, right there is your stopper knot, right? It's not going to go below this stopper knot. So now, this is still 24 inches. What I like to do then is normally 12 inches will do, so I will cut this length here to 12 inches and I'll put my nymph here, it's at 12 inches. So that's gonna, if I'm in a shallow run, it's gonna be perfect. Now what happens if it suddenly has to be, you know, if I gotta have it at two feet, all you gotta do is, and make sure you wet it, you just simply slide the perfection loop up and it'll stay. So there's 24 inches. Now, if a trout grabs your dry fly, it's gonna pull down and it's gonna stop right at that knot and it's not going anywhere. So I wanna show you how I do a perfection loop. Um, just using my hemostats, there's a lot of wonderful videos out on YouTube of how to tie perfection loops, so go check those out and you'll see it's not a very difficult knot at all. So, but what we want to do is we want to make the perfection loop as small as possible. One of the problems is trying to make it small as possible, it's hard to get your thumb through there. So 
I take my hemostats and I'll just simply help it right there, boom. Super easy, you can make a nice small knot and it's ready to go. Now like I said, I like to tie maybe four or six of them and have them at my ready and what I'll do is, now this is a CNF chest pack but you can see, you know, whatever, you know, if you have a your pack, I know, you know, we all have clips in front of us, right? So right here on this swivel, you can see I have about three all ready to go. And if you don't like hanging them on your pack, you can also, you know, put them on a swivel that you have laying around, stick them in a baggie, and then just stick them in your pack. But uh, once again, I like them about six inches long, but the sweet spot for a tag, and this, this is whether you're dry droppering or double nymphing, that tag, about three or four inches really is that sweet spot because that a lot of problems that I see people have is the tangling around the main line and that's usually due to the tag being too long. So three to four inches is really that sweet spot. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'm happy to help you out. Uh, if you liked it, I'd appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, I really would appreciate if you would subscribe. And as always, tight lines everybody. I'll talk to you later.